friends, it's Christy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making a treat container instead of a card. And I'm using some images from Say What Pets and Critters at the Dog Park. So I'm stamping out my images in Memento Tuxedo Black ink on some Copic friendly cardstock. And I'll be coloring with my Copic markers today. I'm going to be coloring both of my dogs to look like German schnauzers. So they are all gray with a white muzzle. So the colors I'm using for them are W00, W1, W3, and W5. Beginning with the larger of the two, I laid in my shadows with the W5 and made sure to go a little bit darker on the legs that are on the opposite side of his body since they would definitely be cast in more shadow. Then I blended out with the W3, just pulling that color toward the center of his body. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of his body with the W1. So I'm saving the W00 for the muzzle, just to give it a little bit of uh, some color there. I used the W1 for a little bit of shadow and then the W00 I filled in completely. Then for the little dog, I'm going to color him exactly the same, except I'm going to shift my shadows since my light source would be a little bit different since he's in a different orientation. He's facing head on. So I'm going to um, shade on either side of his body just to help him look a little bit more three dimensional and kind of come off the page. I'll use the W7 to color in their noses and I'm just doing it solid since they're so small. And then I'm using E50, E51, and E53 for the bone. Using a little E53 for the shadow and then blending with the E51 and filling in with the E50. For the tennis ball I'm using YG00 and YG03 and that's going to give me that nice kind of chartreuse tennis ball shade that's pretty typical. And then for the water bowl, I'm using B21, B23, and B26. I wanted something other than red since um, my treat box is going to be red. So I thought the blue would stand out really well against that. So I started with the B26 on either side of the bowl, and then I'm pulling in with the B23 towards the center and then I'll use the B21 for my highlight. And I didn't get a really good blend, so I did decide to go back and do a second layer of each of these colors just to smooth things out and deepen up the contrast. So again, just blending with that B23 and then filling in with the B21. And then I'm saving a little bit of space in the center of the bowl for uh, some water. And for that, I'm gonna use BG45 and just add that right on top really um, subtly, just so it looks like there's something in there. So I've die cut two pieces of red cardstock using the Lawn Fawn Milk Carton die, and I'm just going to take my Teflon bone folder and reinforce all those score lines that the die makes for you. This is just going to make it much easier to assemble later on because um, those will all fold nice and neat once it's all put together. So I'm just going to show one, but I'll do both of them, obviously. The other one I'll just do off camera. And it may be hard to see all those score lines on film, but it's easy to see them in person. I've added some quarter inch score tape to the two tabs that are going to assemble the box. This is the only place that you need to put any adhesive to close it up. And before I do fold that together, I'm going to go ahead and decorate. So I've die cut several different pieces from the Scallop Treat Box Spring House add-on. So it has a little door, it also has some grasses and some trees. And I'm just going to go around each of my panels here and fill in each side of the box. So there are four different sides and I wanna make sure that each one has some decoration on it. 
So most of the images I'm also attaching with score tape. I used eighth of an inch score tape underneath the grasses. And then I did use liquid glue for the larger uh, images that were colored in. And um, the, the dry adhesive really makes it easy to assemble because there's no drying time. But the uh, larger images have such a big surface area that um, there's plenty of room for them to uh, adhere well to the box. The thing you have to watch out for with the liquid glue, especially on thin images like that tree trunk, is that the glue can sometimes splooge out the sides and then you have a kind of a sticky area. But I just let that dry a bit and then I'm going to go back and clean that up with an adhesive eraser. So on the last panel, I'm going to go ahead and add a third piece of grass since the images that I have to add to that panel are a lot smaller. It wouldn't take up all that area. So I'm going to use the little bone and just kind of tuck that into the grass there a bit. And then I also have the tennis ball that I can add. I decided to include one more tree, so I'm going to tuck that in carefully behind the larger dog on the far right panel. And then I'll just add the uh, treetop part as well. And then when I assemble that, I'll just have to be careful not to let that get stuck in the score tape when I peel off that release paper. So I have two awnings that I die cut out of black cardstock that come with that same die set that I've been using all along. And they're obviously too big, so I'm just eyeballing and trimming those down to size. And then I will attach those to both the front and back panels. And then the sides are going to be the two that are um, curving in to form that milk carton um, look. Once I have those right where I want them, I can go ahead and peel off the release papers from the score tape and assemble my box. I'm just going to line up those tabs. First, the uh, piece that um, forms one long line, and then I'm going to fold over the box so that I can meet up the other two ends. And you can see I'm just lifting up that top part of the tree so that it comes on the outside. And there we go. Now I can go ahead and fold that together. So you fold in the shorter panels of the bottom first, and then the two that interlock last, and then the top squeezes together just like that. This reminds me of the milk that we used to get in school when we were in grade school. So now I've got a piece of white cardstock, and I'm putting that in my MISTI and stamping two of the speech bubbles from Say What Pets. And then into those speech bubbles, I'm going to stamp a treat for you and uh, to a possum friend. So then I can add some more score tape to the back of those after I die cut those with the matching dies. And I'm going to add a treat for you to the front of the container. And then um, to a possum friend is going to go on the back. All that's left is to fill the little treat box with a handful of dog treats and then I'm going to close it with a decorative uh, paper clip. You could also punch some holes in this and tie some twine through or you could close it in a number of ways but I thought this would be nice and easy. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this little milk carton treat container. You could use this for a number of different uh, things. It wouldn't have to be just for dogs, though you could certainly use it for a dog's birthday party. But you could also modify it um, for a child or back to school that would make a really cute little schoolhouse. So there's lots of ideas there. If you'd like to keep on watching, here's two extra videos I thought you might also enjoy. I hope you all have an amazing day. Bye-bye.